Guys, what is up? Charlie Pang is here. Welcome to Merch Design Episode 19. Today we are making a t-shirt design in Photoshop. I built this design using three different photo assets and I downloaded those using sites like Google and Unsplash.com. And when combined the right way, you can make something like this. So let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy it. first thing I always do is go find images that I want to use for my design. So I usually use unsplash.com. Sometimes I stock. It really depends on the project. For stuff like this, I usually just use unsplash. And the first thing I always do is right click on the image that I want to use, copy image, and then I go into Photoshop and just do shift V. Shift plus V will paste that image into Photoshop. And the document we're working with today is a 14 by 16 inch document at 300 DPI. I'm cutting the image out right now. And after that, we're gonna get into the editing process, which is really, really fun. So let's do that real quick. I cut out the image I just duplicated it so I have a kind of like a master copy I guess you can say and the second copy is the one that I want to edit and I'm just adding a levels adjustment to this photo so I can mess with the tones I want those darks to be very dark so they blend with my background which is going to be my shirt at the end of the day on the left side you got your shadows in the middle you got your midtones and on the right you got your highlights so we're just messing with all these different levels in order to make the image really really pop before doing any further edits to it going to Google and just typing in sun, finding a nice picture of a sun that obviously is high quality. You don't want a low quality image. So I have this picture that I found, really, really like it. Awesome thing about the newest version of Photoshop is there's something called quick actions and under the quick actions, there's something called remove background. You click remove background and it will literally remove the background. Now what I wanna do is make the statue a smart object. So I'm clicking on the layer, right clicking on it and converting it to a smart object. That way, anytime we add an effect to it, it's not going to be permanent. We can toggle it on and off. I just like doing it this way. That way I'm working non-destructively and I just need to add a quick outer glow to the statue as well. That way it has a little bit more depth to it and it's not just kind of getting lost. Obviously we have a problem on the bottom there. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate the statue, remove the effects and add a layer mask and just cut out the bottom a little bit. That way it blends nicer and uh, just watch it guys. It, it does take time to get used to this method, but I promise you it's really not that hard. We're essentially adding another layer of the statue that doesn't have that outer glow so we can use it to mask out the orange that you're seeing at the bottom here. We don't want that gradation. We want it to be smooth black. So as you can see, I just masked it out and look how awesome that looks now. I like it, but I need some flames now. So I'm going back to Google, finding some flames, going to copy that. And again, the same process guys, shift plus V to paste it into Photoshop. Quick little tip guys, find an image that has a black background, because if you do this, all you have to do is change the blend mode in Photoshop in the layers palette to screen and it will blend perfectly. As you can see right here, simple as that guys. And um, yeah, there's other ways you can cut it out too, but this is so much easier and look at how fast that was. We already have flames in Photoshop and we're cooking, man. This is it. Oh, I didn't like those flames. So I went back to Google and found some other ones and I actually like this flame a lot better. It just looks more natural and it fits the design a lot better. The statue's very tall. So I found some new flames and I did the same method imported it into Photoshop by copying it off Google, shift plus V to paste it in Photoshop and change the blend mode to screen. And now we are again cooking. We have this uh, really cool look going on now. I can use the same flame and just duplicate it and add it to any part of the design now and it's going to blend seamlessly with the design.
Now I need to use my type tool to type out some text and I think I'm just going to type out something super generic like burn everything down. Why not? It's kind of fitting for this particular design kind of evil at the same time but anyway go ahead and pick a font that you like and then what I like to do is do command T that will add a transform box around the text then we can right click warp and then go to the very top you'll see warp options and then just choose to arc the bottom and then move that little anchor point up and you're gonna have this nice little arc now I'm just selecting the text so I can change the color to more of an orangish color and what I'm going to do is actually create a new layer above my text layer and take a soft round brush with the blend mode set to dissolve. This will give you a nice grainy brush and I'm just gonna start painting another color on top of it to create a seamless, perfect gradient. And it looks really cool, check this out. Oh, and right here I'm adding an inner glow with the same orange color as my base font color. And this gives it a nice border around the edges. If I were to add just a normal stroke, it would just look a lot harsher. And when working with textures and stuff like that, it's good to add an inner glow because it just gives it this soft look and it looks way more natural. So anyway, that's what I did to give it this nice little border around the inside of the font. Now I need to type out the rest of the name, which is burn everything down. So everything down needs to be at the bottom. And I think this really helps give burn a little bit of contrast and it just helps it really pop. I'm going to end up adding something below that as well. I also wanted to make burn stand out just a little bit more so I added an outer glow and I made it that orange color and just made it pop a little bit more. It almost looks like it's glowing now which I really really like so um, anyway that's just a little trick that can help anything glow. I'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the video so you can enjoy watching me finish this design up. But uh, if you wanna join my creative community, all you have to do is subscribe, it's completely free and I make videos like this one every single week. And if you really wanna get involved, turn on notifications on my channel, that way YouTube notifies you every time I upload a video. And also you can comment on my videos, that's how I can interact with you and thumbs up my videos, that's how I know you like them. Anyway, that stuff means a lot to me. I appreciate you guys. Happy holidays. I don't know how many more videos I got in me before the end of uh, this year, but I want you guys to know that you mean everything to me, and I am so stoked that I get to teach you guys every single week. Uh, keep creating, keep being awesome, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Enjoy this one.